This video is about how to write the equation for an exponential function when you're given two points on that graph. So here are my two points, and you know this is one may. I think it's a rather kind of brilliant way to do it, um, and it does take a little bit of like following the process. So you might want to take notes on this. So first, you're going to just start with a basic formula for an exponential function. So y equals a b to the x. And we're not given an, a, a point where x equals 0, otherwise we would have the uh, a value, which is the y-intercept. So we're going to have to kind of substitute these in. Now, one way to do this is by using a system of equations to solve things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my equation, y equals a b x, and I'm going to substitute in the points so I have 216, once again, here's my x, here's my y, and I'm going to substitute it in to this equation. So y is 16, so it's 16 equals a, b, x is 2, so to the second power. For my other point, I have 6, 256. So once again, I'm using my basic formula for the exponential function. I'm going to substitute in my values, so I have 256 equals a, b, and in this case the x is 6. Now I have a couple of ways that I can kind of proceed from here, but now I have a system of equations. Now unlike before where you could kind of just subtract one out from the other and you could eliminate stuff, you can't do the elimination method here. So you could do equal values where you set both things equal to a, and then set them equal to each other, or you could solve for one of the variables, probably a is going to be easiest here as well, and substitute it in. So I'm going to use the substitution method, but the equal values method is also a great way to go. So substitution method. So I'm going to write down my equations again. So I'm going to move this up just a second. So I have I'm going to solve this first one just because it's you know dealing with smaller numbers, so it's going to be maybe a little bit more manageable. So 16 equals b a b squared, and I'm going to solve for a. So I'm going to divide both sides by b squared, and maybe I'll do that in a different color just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to divide both sides by b squared. The b squared is canceled out here, so I have 16 over b squared is equal to a. So I've solved for a, and I have my second equation, and I'm going to substitute this amount in for the value of a. So I'm going to rewrite that problem. 256 equals, instead of a, I'm going to write the value of a, 16 over b squared times b to the 6. Let's see, b to the 6. So now I've substituted in. Now using your laws of exponents, we're going to simplify this. So I'm just going to do this and, you know, just kind of rewrite this. So this is the same thing as 256 equals 16 and b to the 6 over b. So you subtract the exponent, so I get b to the fourth. And I want to get b by itself, so in order to do that, I'm going to divide out 16 from both sides. So that cancels, that's a giant one, and 256 divided by 16 is 16. So 16 is equal to b to the fourth. So I'm thinking about what number times itself four times will give you 16, so that's 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So this is b is equal to 2. You could also do the fourth root of both and get it that way as well. So now I've got part of my problem. I've got b to the second. I'm sorry, b equals 2. But I still need to find the value of a. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to write my original equation again. Okay, so here's here's one of my original equations. 16 equals a b to the second. I now know that b is equal to 2, 
And so now I'm going to substitute in that 2 for b. So 16, oopsie, 16 equals a times 2 squared. So 16 equals a times 4. So 4 times 4 is equal to 16, so a is 4. So now I have my a and I have my b. The question, once again, is asking what is the equation for the exponential function? So going back to what we know, here's the basic format for the exponential function. I'm going to substitute in y equals 4, that's my a value, times b is 2 to the, sorry, to the x power. And this is a good time just because that is so many steps and just like, Woo, blows the mind a little bit. You know, go back to what we originally knew. We were given in the very beginning, we were given two points. So it's worthwhile because that was a lot of work <laughs> just to take another 30 seconds to verify for yourself. So plugging in 2 for x, 2 squared is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Great. Doing it again. Um, 2 to the 6th power, 64 times 4, 256. Check. Woo! Give yourself a big high five. Once again, worthwhile watching this maybe more than once and also trying one for yourself.